Swedish researchers developed a wood transistor. Swedish scientists have developed the first in the world wood transistor. Although it is bulky and slow, it works and does huge development potential. This research paves the way for further development wood-based electronics. Wood, as we know, can be found in many objects everyday use that surrounds us. In rooms, kitchen, appliances electronic. Does anything not fit here? Of course, the last element. But how it turns out that wood can also be used to build electronics. You can make it from wood even make a transistor, as Swedish scientists from Linköping University have proven and KTH Royal Institute of Technology. The description and research results were published in the magazine Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Even with the luscious imagination, it's hard to imagine any electronic device without a transistor. Apart from controlling current flow is able to amplify the signal, store data, and group it it is even able to cope with complex logical operations. Transistors were developed almost a century ago and by some they are considered an invention as important to humanity as a telephone or a light bulb. Today, they are a key element of modern electronic devices and there's miniaturized versions consist of processors in our computers or phones. And all this is possible thanks to properties semiconductors. And this is where the problem arises in the context of potential using wood in this capacity, it is by no means semiconductor. Moreover, generally making any electrical charges being able to move around in it is extremely problematic. Theoretically, this problem could be very easy solve. All we need to do is convert the wood into charcoal. Then loads they would get not only a road, but even a highway on which they could go without problem move. However, this solution could prove to be a solution for many unsatisfactory, because at this point it would no longer be wood. And here Swedish scientists enter the scene and apparently no one told them about it because wood is not suitable for constructing transistors. Swedish scientists decided to use balsa wood, woolly scop. It is quite hard, but at the same time characterized by low density and homogeneous structure. It was decided to remove it from the wood lignin, and an electrically conductive polymer was introduced into the lignin tubules. Polystyrene, 3,4 ethylenedioxythiopene, sulfonate, written as P.PSS. The very idea of installing conductive material in this way wood is not new. However, scientists undertook to optimize the process remove lignin to create the most efficient channel possible the polymer placed in it. In this way, it became possible to create enough primitive transistor. In previous attempts, transistors made of wood were in it can only regulate ion transport. And when the ions were exhausted, the transistor stopped working. A transistor developed by Swedish researchers may work continuously and effectively regulate the flow of electricity. Can also turn the power on and off, although with a significant delay.